Alright guys, first video I've uh, made here in a while. Uh, I've been really busy the last few months dealing with a lot of bullshit. Uh, mostly of my own making. But I haven't had time to make any videos and I've been wanting to get back into it. So, today we gotta talk about Uncharted. Because they are finally coming out with the Uncharted movie. The Uncharted movie that they announced back in 2008. <laughs> it's been almost, what, 14 years now since they announced this thing, which I didn't even realize it had been that long until I looked it up. I knew this thing had been in production hell for a long time, but I didn't realize it was that long. Like, that was way back before Uncharted 2 even came out. So, they're finally releasing this thing. They've put out uh, three separate trailers for it so far. I'll have links to all three of those down in the description. Winch. It looks okay, I guess. The thing that most everyone is saying and that I agree with is that it just doesn't feel like Uncharted. It feels like, you know, generic action movie number three. Winch. Uh, I'll put another link in the description, too. A few years ago, an uh, Uncharted fan film came out that was very professionally done. Uh, I forget the name of the producer guy that made it, but uh, it was a professional Hollywood producer, and it was starring Nathan Fillion, and I covered this when it came out a few years ago, and when they made that, they just absolutely nailed everything about it, like the characters, the tone, the cinematography, all of it was just done perfectly. And this whole movie is already just doomed to never be able to live up to that, <laughs> even though that fan film was only like 15 minutes long. In 15 minutes, they have done what this movie will never be able to do. But... Anyway, I watched the trailers. They they seemed okay. Uh, we got Tom Holland playing a very young Nathan Drake. And Mark Wahlberg playing Sully. Which, both those seem like odd choices. Uh, now, I'm not a celebrity person. I don't follow any of that nonsense. I just don't give a fuck. Uh, the only thing I know about either of these two guys is that Tom Holland plays Spider-Man in those movies that I have never seen. So, I don't really have any strong feelings about these actors one way or another. Tom Holland looks way too young to be playing Nathan Drake. I know it's supposed to be him when he's younger, but it just seems out of place. I know after the first trailer came out, people were talking about you know, Sully's famous stash not being there, which in one of the later trailers, they actually did show Mark Wahlberg with a stash. So at some point, he will grow the Sully mustache in, but apparently it's not going to be for most of the movie. As far as, like, universe stuff, uh, I don't believe that this movie is going to be canon to the games, which, honestly, I think it's better because there's been, you know, several reports over the years about how they were going to do this. And at first they said it was going to be a prequel and all these different things. Honestly, I'd rather it just be totally separate from the games off in its own little world. So if it does end up completely sucking, then it doesn't drag everything else down with it. So I like that better, honestly. They showed some scenes that are very reminiscent of scenes from some of the games. They showed the plane sequence from Uncharted 3, except this time it looked like it was over the ocean instead of over a desert. Uh, they showed a part where you were discovering a big pirate ship, which was very reminiscent of Uncharted 4. They showed a scene where it looked like Drake and Sully meeting for the first time. Winch, this meeting had uh, Nathan working as a bartender and Sully coming up to him, which is obviously very different from the way they met in the games, as we saw in the flashbacks from Uncharted 3. 
So they might be retconning the entire story about how Nathan and Sully met each other. Uh, as far as the plots of the movie goes, like what specific treasure and things they're looking for, they didn't come directly out and say it, but it they mentioned Magellan, actually, which they might be using the same treasure that the fan film used, because, if, again, if you watch the fan film, they were looking for a treasure that was on Magellan's ship that had sunk. So they might have been copying that from the fan film, actually. But... Overall, I wasn't really impressed by this trailer. The thing that felt the most like Uncharted, actually, was Chloe, which is being played by some woman named Sophia Ali, I believe. Which, that might just be because she was only in all these trailers for a grand total of about five seconds. So, maybe once the actual movie comes out, it'll be totally wrong, too, like everything else is. But, based on the very brief appearance in these trailers, she's the thing that felt the most like her actual character to me. But, yeah, I, I'm i not a big movie-going person anyway. Like, you can count on one hand the number of times I've been to a movie theater in the last decade. Hell, the last time I went and saw a movie was the Power Ranger movie in, what was that, 2017? So... I have no plans to actually go to a movie theater and see this. I'll probably watch it at some point, but it'll probably be far in the future when I can see it for free through some method. So, I'm not going to have any coverage or anything on this when it comes out or anything like that. I was just giving my impressions of the trailers, which overall... It just feels like a generic action movie that they slapped the Uncharted name on. So, anyway, that's all I got to say. So, lots of luck to you and yours.